What's up, everyone? So, remember this place? Tingle Island. So, we have to go up there to actually see Tingle and uh, climb up this totem pole. It's got choo choos, moblin faces, fairies, and then the giant Tingle thing up there. I think there's actually something up there. I don't know. But here are all our Tingle statues. And then, once you've found all five of them, this guy appears. I believe this guy is uh, David Jr. The only one of the uh, brothers who doesn't have a name that rhymes. So apparently after finding all the Tingle statues, uh, this guy shows up. Um, okay. Let me make a pictograph you can be proud of. Oh, am I supposed to take a pictograph of this guy? Or something? Uh, hold on. Anywho, our uh, objective now is claiming the remaining treasures around here, as well as getting the Triforce Shards. And there's only one treasure I need to get anyway. So I guess I... I guess I show him the... I don't know. He's supposed to give you a prize or something. Isn't he? I don't get that. I'm supposed to, like, get something for this. Whatever. If I remember from what I said, it's supposed to be just a rupee prize, and really, I don't have time for that. Yeah, there we go. You get all the statues, David Jr. shows up. I think these other two guys uh, pushing these are uh, ankle and knuckle. Oh. Oh! You got a reward for being so skillful at finding Tingle statues. You got 50 rupees per statue. Okay. That works. In a moment, as usual. 500 rupees! Well, um, that works. Yes, go. Go and push the statue. Blah, blah, blah. Heave ho. Ah, oh, this is heavy. Yes. All the brothers are here. So at least now I know what you're actually supposed to do. Oh, the Mr. Fairy! I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? That fragrant musty scent. Sir, you have found a chart. Splendid, splendid. Show me, show me. Why, you can't read that chart in its current state. Impossible, sir. Would you like me to decipher it for you? For 398 rupees. Alright, fine. Yeah, you have to pay a lot of money for this guy. And because it's 398 rupees in the original Wind Waker, because your initial wallet was just the uh, 200, you had to get one of the wallet upgrades. It was required. Anyway, you got your chart deciphered. Now you can use it to find a piece of the Triforce. Look at your C charts on the map screen to check its location. So, gotta do the thing. Tingle! Tingle! Kalulumpa! Become readable! Alright, that's two. And this will be three. So it's almost 1200 rupees to get this thing deciphered. I think it's actually. <sighs> what is it? 1194 rupees to get this thing deciphered? To get all three of these deciphered? Huh. Hmm. Mr. Fairy, you must try very hard to find treasure. When you select and open this chart on the map screen, the place where the treasure is will shine forth. Then just go to that place and rely on your chart to help you find the treasure. I think I started to give him the fishman voice somewhat. Anywho, Tingle has now officially served his purpose, which means so long. You will not be missed. Alright. 
so how I want to do this is while I'm going to be looking for the uh, shards, I'm going to also be just kind of going around and uh, getting everything else. Actually, uh, I'm going to open up the incredible charts because that's what tells you where each one of them will be. So these are our three Triforce charts. Where is our incredible chart? Past it. And there we go. So we know where each and every one of them will be. There's one on Overlook Island, one on the Cliff Plateau Isles, one at the Private Oasis, one at Outset. We'll be doing that one last. One at Great Fish Isle. One just south of that, apparently. Or no, uh, that those two are on uh, Stonewatcher Island. Shows you where every single one is. Or at least it should. Uh... Yeah, it should show you where every single one of them will be. Because, uh, yeah, I got the charts already and uh, the stuff shows up. And then there's one on the ghost ship. I'm just trying to figure out uh, my plan of attack here. Might go get the one at the... Yeah, I think I know what I'm going to do. So I'll take care of... Uh, actually, uh, Great Fish Isle is uh, very close. I might as well do that one first. Oh, uh, but then while I do this, I have to watch out for the Jorts. Yeah, so I'll take care of this one. I'll head to Stonewatcher, then I can get the final piece of heart. Because I'd like to have that ready for when we do the Savage Labyrinth. Alright, let me open this up. This one should be Treasure Chart... Not Treasure Chart, uh, Triforce Chart 1. And lo and behold, it is right there. Yep, this one is for Triforce chart number one. Screw off, Yorg. There. So I'll get the ones with the charts first, and then I'll just do a couple of them as I go along. There we go! A Triforce shard! You need seven more shards to com- I was about to say to complete a piece of the Triforce, but no, that's not how you- Alright, what have I got? Stupid Yorg. Oh wow, looking at it right now, it's even got the stone slab and everything from outset. Yeah. Alright, our next stop... You know what? I'll do Stonewatcher Island. I might as well get that one out of the way. I think that'll be for, tre for Triforce chart number... Oh, it's for Triforce chart number two. I guess I will be getting those ones in order. I mean, why not? I didn't exactly have, like, a set path on how I wanted to take care of this. I just know that uh, I wanted to take care of this as best I could. But before we take care of the Triforce Shard, we're gonna head over here to this platform. I believe this is the one that I'm th thinking of. Yeah, this is the one I'm thinking of. I think a while back I mentioned that there was this uh, one particular lookout platform that had so many cannons on it, and one of them was aimed directly at you when you're trying to climb. This is the one I was talking about. Right. So I believe after I take care of all of the cannons here, I can just climb up and then claim my final reward. Well, actually, my final reward will be getting all of the uh, Triforce pieces. That was helpful. But yeah, there's a lot of cannons on this one. Nice! Two for one! Oh, weather's getting a little bit foul. You know, while I'm here, I might as well go and, uh, at the very least, get the, uh, shard that's in the island, rather than 
go and uh, get the one of the Cliff Plateau Isles. There's just a bunch of guys here. Jump off! Oh, there was actually two treasures here. Might as well get them both. I mean, these guys aren't going to be using them. Oh. Anyway, at this point, I I have no more need for rupees at all. I mean, the only real use for rupees at this point is the magic armor. And there we go. The final piece of hearts. No more exists in the Wind Waker. Gaze at its splendor. Because now, that's it. That's all of them. James, I don't have to worry about those counters anymore. Yes. Doing those counters is kind of annoying, but really, I kind of need to be able to keep track. Because I'm not very good at keeping track without them. I mean, how else am I going to be able to properly let's play if I can't keep track of my collectibles. I'm actually pretty close to the uh, Triforce Shard right now, but I'm just gonna quickly go and uh, take care of this. And you are dead. Not big surprise. I really wonder what that heavy update's gonna be like if it ever comes. It might even be a Smithmas update, too. Because, uh, they did, uh... When they did Jungle Inferno with Pyro, they did it close to Halloween, too, and they kind of just incorporated that in. So, with, uh, Heavy Update, they could actually incorporate that along with, uh, Smithmas for either this year or next year. Depending on how they want to do things. Oh, there was a post box here. I still wonder if I'm going to do that with uh, Beetle's uh, shop ship. I mean, I could sell off all my uh, spoils now. I have no more need for them. All I need now is to just get the thing at the Savage Labyrinth. Oh. Oh, this guy actually gives you a hint on that. Okay. Oh, well. I, I decided to use a guy for it anyway. All right. You can leave. But first, I just want to show off that face one more time, because I'm probably not going to be able to after this. And there we go. Alright, so two of these are going to be these types of uh, trials, or hidden holes, as the wiki likes to call them, or secret cave, as they are called in the actual in the actual game. So, it's essentially like a gauntlet of enemies. You deal with all the enemies, and then after you've taken care of all the rooms, if I can do this just right, oh yeah. Ah. I don't have my bow out either. I don't need my hookshot right now. Right, I gotta use R. No, not these. I, I, how do I, how do I use buttons? There we go. That'll take care of all of them. It's kind of good to have the uh, arrows out anyway, just because. I will probably be using them quite a lot. Alright, that's one done. Flame goes up, shows you the room is clear. After you clear all these, there will be a bunch of dark nuts out here. You deal with them. Then the treasure's all yours. There's another cave like this in uh, Dragon Roost Island 2. But that one's just for rupees. Actually, it's sort of different. I'm not going to bother doing it, though, because, uh, really, 
Like, what's the point if it's just for rupees? Alright. What's left? Um, okay. I guess I'll go in a bit of a Z pattern. Because why not? Oof! That's really all I needed to do. I didn't need to do a jump attack at all. The one at Overlook Island, uh, that's where the other one of these types of uh, trials is. That one's actually a little tougher because it's got uh, late game enemies in that one, whereas this one has early game. I say that, and then we encounter whiz robes, which are mid game. I'm honestly more used to the fact that I'm able to quick draw in other games. This game, I'm. This game, I don't. And it's honestly kind of annoying. Oh, the other guy saw me. Yeah, come on. Come on. Whoa! Oh, he's not even dead yet. Yeah, that's how powerful they are. You can block their attack, but that's gonna knock you back quite a bit. Alright, that's Stonewatcher Island cleared of both of its Triforce shards. Yeah, at this point, we only need to use the Wind's Rec Room now. All other songs are pointless. I mean, aside from the Song of Passing, but what do we even need that for? Yeah, and then they give you uh, rupees and stuff because uh, they know that you're going to be paying a lot of money to get these charts deciphered. There we go. Five more. Yeah, yeah, I take care of that one. This is honestly gonna go by pretty quick. Or maybe not as quick, I don't know. I just know that uh, it is a little tedious to do these. All right, the uh, battleships are back. There's my boat. There's my boat. Oh. Why can't I be stylish and, you know, jump into the boats? Alright, what should I do next? What should I do next? Um, I could set up for the ghost ship, or I could go do the private oasis. That's uh, one square south of the Tower of the Gods. Yeah, why not? Might as well take care of that while I can, and then I'll, uh, set up for the ghost ship. And probably after doing both of those, I'll have, uh, spent enough time for this video. And then I can spend the rest of it going and, uh, getting, uh, the remaining shards. But then again, I'm also saving one shard for its own video because of the Savage Labyrinth. Speaking of which, I should probably start buying some stuff to uh, prepare for it. As well as getting the magic armor ready, too, because uh, going into going into some of those places, oh boy. There's a reason it's called the Savage Labyrinth. I believe it's this game, the original version of this game, the original Wind Waker, that started the whole gauntlet dungeon thing that uh, showed up in later games. Such as the uh, Treacherous Tower in Link Between Worlds, Cave Ordeals and Twilight Princess, and the uh, Lightning Round in Skyward Sword, somewhat. Skyward Sword didn't have a gauntlet dungeon, but it did have the gauntlet with uh, Lenaver. Oh yeah, and probably that Den of Trials too in Triforce Heroes. I never really got around to that. Then again, it's that whole thing with uh, 
trying to make a more multiplayer based game. It's not really something you can get away with these days. I mean, I I'm not going any further. Oh, right, I need to get the cabana deed out because uh, this guy will shoo me away otherwise. But I'll show it off just in case. Don't touch me with those filthy hands, you mischievous little scamp! Ahem. <clears throat> this cabana belongs to the master and the master alone. You grimy, trespassing little scoundrel! Away with you! Away, I say! Yeah. Because I've never shown off the cabana deed to this guy, uh, he does not believe that I am the new master. So let me show that. Yeah, unclean. Most foul. Don't lay those grungy hands. Wait, th th that's... Why, that's the... Uh, are you the new master? Are you Master Oni-chan? <sighs> I am so pleased to hear that name. Master Oni-chan. Please be gentle on this fine door. Oh, God, I feel dirty after that. Alright, so... The use of the commander deed is now moot. I'm gonna miss these statues. They're so cute. Maybe I'll, uh, take a screenshot and, uh... Draw one of them at one point. I really wonder if these statues actually were, uh, like, legit living girls at one point. Anyway, uh, you can get a bunch of, uh, rupees in here, and, uh, it's just this. You've got these here, the door there, and then you got a slider puzzle, which I am never going to do. It's so even got this little thing here that just shows you the, I think, with how many there are. But yeah, I am not doing that slider puzzle. I cannot stand slider puzzles. I seriously can't, and I am not willing to take the time to do them. So, if you want to see slider puzzles, go watch someone else's video. I'm just here for the Triforce Shard. Which you get by going down there. I'm actually going to pull out my skull hammer because uh, I need it for this. We come down into a sewer. Yeah, a sewer, of all places. Get that rat. Get that rat with my homing hook. Yeah, there are uh, rats around here, sewage. A lot of other uh, filthy things in here. Yeah, it's the fact that you have to go down into your very own sewage system. The whole thing in the sewer is probably because of that bathtub that was in there. I just need to figure out the proper way to go, because I really do not remember everything here. And I think I just went the wrong way. Yep, I went the wrong way, because uh, this leads to a whole bunch of pots and, well, rupees. No, I don't want to sidle. Oh, right, you don't enter it with an action command. You crouch and then you go in. I don't know why I thought that. I haven't even been playing any other Zelda games lately, so... I don't have any legit excuse. Wait. To that. I wanted to go forward. I never really remember where I need to go, and I hope this was it. Yeah, this should be it, because, uh... Yeah, there's nowhere else. Alright. You couldn't do this until you got the skull hammer anyway. So this is actually one of the earliest uh, Triforce shards you could actually get. The uh, the one over at uh, Stonewatcher Island was also an early one. Ghost ship, we couldn't do that until we got the hook shots. Uh, so I actually could have been doing some of these Triforce shards right away. I mean. Some of those Triforce shards that we could do, oh my god, those were really early. I mean, like, the Eyelid of Steel, I didn't know you could get that one so early. Um, and the one of the Battleship, too. Again, I did not know these, because uh, I usually don't bother with them until I need to. Go, homing hook! 
Oh, he was after me. Ha! Alright, now we gotta head down here. Because of this. Redeads. This is the other, uh... Dark and dank thing in this place. Freaking redeads. We couldn't deal with these guys anyway until after we got the Master Sword, so... Yeah. I think in the case of all redeads, yeah, you just can't deal with these guys until after you get the Master Sword. Uh, I think after we deal with this little bit right here, uh, we should be good. I'm actually coming up on uh, almost 27 minutes in the recording right now, so I think it's a good thing I decided to do this. Feels a little more uh, properly spaced out. Alright, get this one and then I'll go take care of the uh, warp jar maze at uh, Diamond Step Island. And, uh, cut her there. Only four more. Or maybe I could... kind of cut it about now, actually, because, uh... there's only one shard we... won't be getting until the Savage Labyrinth. Oh. Come on, homie hook! Ah, screw it. You can live. I'm not coming back anyway after this. Ew, look at all that dripping off him. Link needs a bath. Yeah, he's got a bath. It doesn't even have a mirror. I mean, look at that. It just has some kind of golden framing to it. Here, I'll just go to that. Ah, Master, do you have an interest in the amusements of nobility? I do indeed. In that case, would you care to hear an explanation of the game? Indeed I would. So, there you go. That's just how you, uh... take care of the slider puzzle. And I hate the fact that the first one is that kid with the big dripping nose. Yeah, he said that this game is for amusement only. If you're successful, all he can offer is money. The rules escape me. Sadly, I must quit. Yes, it is very... I have become painfully aware of my existence as a door. He wasn't aware already? Yeah, so anyway, that's the complete picture over there, and that's the one that you're supposed to unscramble, but I am not doing that, because to hell with that. Anywho, we can break these pots without feeling like we're, uh, you know, destroying public or private property because we're destroying our own private property. Oh, come on. And get a whole bunch of rupees. Again, not that I need them. Yeah, I'm already coming up on 30 minutes now at this point, because uh, I took the time to do that. So, uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's quickly check our incredible chart. Yes, I have to roll the R. Here it is. It's right after, right before the Octo chart. So we've got uh, one at Overlook, one on the Ghost Ship, the one we need to pull up at uh, the at the Cliff Plateau Isles, and then the last one is at Outset, in the Savage Labyrinth. So yeah, you know what? I think now is a good stopping point. So, I will see you guys next time, where we will go and get the remaining Triforce Shards, except for the one at Outset, because I'm going to save that for its own video. See you guys then! <laughs>